Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today's episode, we're going to talk about using four-wired field phones on two-wire field wire. So stay tuned. One of the desirable things about using a two-wire field phones is they can be paralleled. Basically, if you look at the diagram, this means if you pick up one of the phones on the, the network here and crank it, it'll ring all the phones on the network and they can all pick up and they can all talk to each other. This is true for any phone that wants to initiate a call. Any phone can pick up and the others will pick up. This is a desirable trend for two-wire phones. Now, this is one of the problems you run into with four-wire phones is the inability of being able to parallel them like this. And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, discuss that next. Okay, the four-wire phones that I'm referring to are the TA838 and the TA341, both shown here on this uh, this picture. Um, TA838s uh, cost anywhere between uh, 80 to 150 dollars. I've seen them. Um, the advantage of them is, in addition to doing four-wire stuff, you can plug them into your home phone at home and use them as basically like a commercial phone like that. Um, the TA341 is a little bit different. It's a little bit more primitive. It's a four-wire phone only, and uh, it will talk to a TA838 or another TA341 in a point-to-point -point mode. Um, these are the two main four-wire phones that I've seen advertised and I've worked with, so these are the ones I'm going to go with. Uh, the basic setup for connecting two 838s is pretty basic. Uh, the only things you have to remember is it does take four wires. And this seems to cause an issue because instead of having two wires for a normal field wire, you now have to have four wires. If you look at the diagram here, you can see how you connect them together. And what's interesting about this is uh, the two wires that come from the transmit on one of the TA838s go to the two wire binding posts for the receive on the opposite one. And then vice versa, the transmit from that phone then goes to the receive on the other phone. We call this a crossover. Now, this is pretty much standard for the, the excuse me, 838 connection. It's the same if you're going to connect it to a TA341. And here's the picture for the TA341. You're connected the same way, except you're going to binding posts on the back of the TA341. Also on the bottom, it shows the uh, actual settings to set the uh, mode selector switches on both phones. Um, my TA341s I modified for binding posts. They usually have just a phone cord that comes out of them. But if you want this info on this binding post, I'll go ahead and uh, let me know, and I'll, I'll get something put out there. Now, the main problem with this is, like I said, we're using four wires. So the next diagram we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, too, what we're going to call the four-wire phone problems. Okay, now we're going to talk about the four-wire phone problems. And I have a diagram here of uh, three four-wire phones that are uh, wired together. And the first problem is you need to double the amount of field wire you're going to run because you have to have four wires. So you're either going to have to run another more WD-1 field wire or get some WF-16, which is a two-wire field wire, or switch to running a old uh, commercial LAN cable like CAT-356, and this is going to cost you more money. The other problem is, is just due to the nature of how these phones operate in four wire mode um, if we were to pick up phone A you could call phone B and phone C they would both ring uh, and both of them could answer but only one of them could talk to phone A at a time so phone B and phone A could talk back and forth and hear what's going on but phone C could only hear what phone A is saying they couldn't hear what phone B is saying and the same with phone C Phone C and phone A could talk to each other, and phone B could hear what phone A was saying, but could not hear what phone C was saying. Now, is this a problem or not? I, it depends on the situation you're in. Most of the time you want it, if you were going to have extensions like that, you'd want everybody to hear what everybody else was saying. So this is the four-wire problem. Next, we're going to look at some possible solutions. Okay, this is some of the solutions that I possibly came up with, and... Uh, I thought about this when I was after I did my remote radio. We were using transformers to convert, you know, two wire to four wire, plug into the radio, and I did do a video using the uh, the two wire to four wire hybrid converter, the first one, the MC one one eight. I did a video on that, and it seemed to work well. But then, 
as I was, like I said, I was thinking about remote remote radio stuff. I wondered if the other transformers would work. So I did some experimentation with a uh, TYP-146 and a TTPC-14. Did some work with these. You can see below uh, each one I put the costs. The uh, MC-118s are good. Very difficult to find. You're probably going to pay $100 a piece cheap if you can even find them. It gets a little better with the other ones. The TY-146 on eBay, about 10 bucks a piece. And the TTPC-14s are roughly $7 a piece. There's a little bit of, of, they fluctuate a little bit depending on who you're looking at. Then you have to search them out because right now uh, they're a little scarce to find. You have to check and see and when they're available. But they are available. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect it up in this fashion right here to solve our problem. And basically, what we do is we connect up the four wires from the transmit and receive side to uh, the transformers. They actually do some soldering on them. And so you have two wires that go to the two transmit uh, points on the transformer and two to go to the receive. Then on the other side, you come out as two wires and you go down the line and you can parallel them. And believe it or not, this works pretty darn good. Um, I tried it on the vents. We'll go ahead and we'll eventually go out and I'll set it up on the, the patio and we'll run it. But this is basically how it works. And then the actual wiring to connect them up, I got it here. They're a little bit different because the the transformers themselves are a little bit different. The MC-118 is pretty easy because it's labeled on the box itself what goes where. But if you're going to use the uh, TY-146 or the uh, TPC-14, Use this diagram here. It shows you basically how to do your soldering on there to get everything right. And uh, the TPC-14 does not require a jumper like you can see the, uh, the TY-14 does. Um, you're just going to have to look real carefully on the uh, TTP-14 because it's got four solder points on each side of the transformer. And on the two-wire side, you're going to connect the network. There's only two of those four that are connected, so you have to look really close to make sure you get the correct two connected and uh, soldered. And that's pretty much it. Next, we'll go out and we'll go ahead and demo the system, and we'll show you how it works. Okay, we're out in the patio now. We have our four-wire phone set up, uh, two TA341s and a TA838. All three of them are set for point-to-point -point signaling or point-to-point -point usage. All Three of them have uh, batteries in them. They all use C-cell batteries. And I actually have them configured as a four-wire parallel circuit. We're going to demonstrate how this doesn't work. So basically, all the, these are connected together so that rings will go back and forth and audio will go back and forth. And you'll understand what I mean by the problem that we have. This phone, phone B, is actually going to do an audio or an oral ring. You'll be able to hear it. Phone C is set up to do just a visual ring, and I did this so you can tell the difference between which ones are ringing and which ones are not when different activities take place. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take phone A off hook. Notice all the other phones rang, okay? Now, if we were to pick up phone B, Test one, two, three, test, test. We have audio back and forth. If we pick up phone C, between phone A and phone C, we have audio. Now, the quandary, the problem comes in, is between phone B and phone C, we will not have audio. Test one, two. Test one, two. So that's where the problem lies right there. So how do we solve this? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and we'll uh, shut down and I'll come out here and I'll reconfigure using the, the transformers like I showed in the diagram and demonstrate how that solves this problem. Okay, I've got everything reconfigured here. We're still running phone A, phone B, and phone C. But now I've inserted the uh, two-wire to four-wire transformers in there. The first one I actually have one of the big ones, commercial made ones, and then I made two of my own. This is a TTPC-14. It's wired as such. I'll try to hold it up. I put some wire ties on there to help 
take the strain off the solder joint. But basically, uh, you've got two wires that go from the, uh, or excuse me, two wires from the transmit side of each phone to one side of the transformer, two wires from the receive side. They go to the same side, different terminals, and then it's all split off into two wires. And then basically, I have a thousand meters or one click of field wire, two wire field wire inserted. So this from this phone to this phone goes through this. Well, a thousand meters, and between this phone and this phone, it goes through a thousand meters, so it should all work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that phone up, we should be able to call the others. Now, I have it set up the same way. This one is, these two I have their oral or loud alarms turned up as so you can hear them. This one is set for uh, a small LED light which will come on to indicate an incoming call. So these will actually ring with their tone, and this one will display a light. Another thing to remember anytime you're using four wire phones like this is they use a uh, tone they send back and forth that's roughly uh, two seconds long. And the thing you have to remember is when you, if I pick this phone up to call this phone, when this phone picks up, it sends a tone back. So when you answer a call on a two wire phone, you have to wait a few seconds because you're sending a tone back to the other phone. Then you can talk as normal. So that's just. That's just sort of a weird thing. Everybody needs to know up front that way uh, you know how it works. Okay, here we go. We're going to start. I'm going to go ahead and pick this phone up. Both the others two should ring. Okay, they did. We got our light here. We got our audio indication here. I'm going to pick this phone up. Does the tone going back? Let's talk and see if we have audio. Test one, two, three. Okay, these two phones can talk to each other. Let's try this phone and this phone. Got the tone going back. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. Okay. Success on that. So we now know we can talk from this phone to this phone and this phone to this phone. Now the big problem with the four wire circuits running in four wires is these two phones or any of these phones in between can't talk to each other. Let's see if that's fixed. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Okay, there we go. It works. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and hang it up. We'll try it again. Let's pick this phone up this time. Both of those rang. That one's going to ring again. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. That one worked. Let's go ahead and put this one down. Let's pick this one up now. It rings back. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. There we go. And it works. So, we provided a simple solution to the four wire phone problem. Why do you want to use these phones? Well, they're, they're sort of neat, but also uh, you can buy pretty much two 341s if you're just going to use two phones for like a point to point for the same cost that you pay for basically a single TA312. So they're very cost effective. They're also cool to work with. And that's it. That's the solution for the two problems with four wire point to point phones. Thanks for watching.